For nearly 20 years, Rockstar Games has been making products of some of the highest quality ever seen in the video game industry. From fan-favorite series like Grand Theft Auto and Max Payne, to one-off gems such as Bully and L.A. Noir, the developers at Rockstar have honed their craft, their craft being focused on one type of product in particular, open-world games. When asked in 2011 why Rockstar isn't pursuing the first-person shooter genre like much of the industry, Dan Hauser, co-founder of Rockstar, responded, It's in our DNA to avoid doing what other companies are doing. It was by following this mantra that an idea for a new Western-themed game was born. Following in its predecessor's footsteps, Red Dead Redemption built upon the lessons learned from Rockstar's previous open-world endeavors and applied them to a fresh historical theme. The game became a massive success critically as well as commercially, winning countless Game of the Year awards and selling over 15 million units. Such success led many to believe a sequel was inevitable. And in October of 2016, after the release of images sparked speculation, Rockstar officially announced Red Dead Redemption 2. With the game becoming one of, if not the most hyped title of 2018, I thought it would be reasonable to establish a litmus test to determine how well it will perform compared to its predecessor as well as other titles in the open world genre. For this test, I will be assessing Red Dead 2 along three criteria. First, the namesake of the open world genre, the world itself, can determine whether a game lives or dies, depending on its depth and breadth. It will be interesting to see how Rockstar improves upon its dynamic world building skills, which have already been established as the developer's trademark. Also, many open world games feature iconic tools for the player that help create memorable moments. It is necessary to question what Red Dead Redemption 2 features in its mechanics to provide unique opportunities to players. And finally, Rockstar will have an uphill battle in creating a protagonist as beloved as John Marston from Red Dead 1. What choices will they present players with in the sequel to allow players to build up Arthur Morgan as a character? If Red Dead Redemption 2 can pull off a truly dynamic world, feature iconic tools, and allow plenty of moments for character building, it will be a sequel that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the original. In their defining series, Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar has been able to create dynamic, seemingly lifelike worlds, a combination of factors including changing weather, day-night cycles, and natural NPC behavior led to GTA V San Andreas feeling like a real county in Southern California. I mean, just look at the game's main trailer. The focus isn't on the three main characters, nor is it on any of the gameplay mechanics. It's simply about the world Rockstar has created and the dynamism within it. Features that have been touted along these lines include alternative modes of conflict resolution with NPCs, over 200 species of wildlife, and a first-person option to enhance the immersion of gameplay. Oh yeah, they even got dynamic horse balls too. How Red Dead 2 innovates on this front will be a major factor in how alive its world feels. Additionally, carrying over the random encounter system from the first Red Dead will make the world feel less structured and predictable. There is plenty of room to expand upon the frequent horse thieves and bar fights from the first game. Potential ideas include more large-scale events involving a higher number of NPCs, such as town takeovers and gang versus gang conflict. In a similar vein to survival games like The Forest, Red Dead Redemption 2 will emphasize everyday tasks to enhance its dynamic nature. Showering, sleeping, shaving, and more will all have direct impacts on story and gameplay, creating a breadth of new scenarios and options to be experienced. However, it will be interesting to see how manageable these tasks are and how much they really add to the gameplay. Whether it's the VAT system of Fallout or the hidden blades of Assassin's Creed, iconic tools give the player the ability to create unique opportunities, specifically in combat. Luckily for Rockstar, Red Dead Redemption 2 inherits a very iconic tool from its predecessor right off the bat. The Deadeye system allows players to slow down time, pick their shots, and fire off a multitude of rounds in rapid succession. The system combines the strength of VATS and the Hidden Blades into a distinct, separate mechanic. It incorporates the slowed down, more precise, alternative to point and shoot combat that the VAT system provides, plus it contributes to the player fantasy of a gunslinging cowboy in a similar fashion to how the Hidden Blades contribute to the fantasy of being a stealthy assassin. Having such a powerful iconic tool for the player built into the series already is a good jumpstart for Red Dead 2's mechanics. I'm personally curious as to what will be added to the sequel to supplement the Deadeye system. My suggestion would be different abilities for weapons when in Deadeye mode, or maybe even upgrades that change how Deadeye works entirely. 
like how drinking moonshine made Deadeye unlimited for 10 seconds in the first game. Ultimately, how Rockstar decides to expand the Deadeye system and incorporate it with other game systems will determine the extent to which players can create unique experiences for themselves, and in turn, part of the success of their open world. In general, I'd think it would be fair to say that most open world games are more mechanics focused than story focused. The developers give the players the ability to discover a vast area with plenty of mechanics to explore, where a deep story would typically become diluted and not as effective. There are some games in the genre that buck this trend though, such as the original Red Dead Redemption. Players are able to explore the world through John Marston's eyes, but maybe with less player agency than desired. In Red Dead 2, Rockstar will leave more options available to the player in a similar fashion to The Witcher 3. Although Arthur Morgan may never be as notable a character as The Witcher's Geralt, players will be able to make him their own in a similar fashion by deciding how Morgan interacts with the world and its denizens. From a mechanical standpoint, the activities that the player has Morgan do in the game will level up the skill the more he does it, a la skill points in The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Want to go canoeing? As you do, you'll learn how to canoe faster, motivating the player to keep doing that task in a type of reward feedback cycle. This system will allow players to level up Arthur Morgan in a sense, and build up his character and ability based on what they enjoy doing in game. The amount of content Rockstar has added to allow for more player choice will heavily impact how successful Red Dead 2 will be at building up the main character, and therefore the main story of its open world as a whole. The true extent to which I believe Rockstar will improve upon the original Red Dead Redemption goes far beyond the scope of this video. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the most hyped game of the year, and for good reason. Every screenshot, trailer, and information leak has only given the community more reasons to believe that Red Dead 2 will be one of the best games not just of this year, but possibly of all time. Although it is very possible Rockstar delivers on each and every one of their promises, let us remember the last great open world hype train that was No Man's Sky and temper our expectations. The hype for this game has gone beyond the hype for No Man's Sky, and even though Rockstar may be a more qualified and dedicated studio than Hello Games, unexpected results can arise all the same. However, if Rockstar can pass the open world litmus test by integrating a dynamic world with iconic tools for the player and plenty of opportunities for character building, combined with the polish they are renowned for in the industry, they will have crafted a game most companies could only dream of making. Today, many AAA developers like Treyarch and Epic are focusing on creating multiplayer experiences, even though they are known for their single player offerings. New, popular genres are tempting developers to jump on the bandwagon at the expense of their single-player experiences in order to maximize their profits. This shift makes the success or failure of Red Dead Redemption 2 a key event for the games industry. With confidence in their formula, Rockstar has continued to make open-world, single-player experiences innovative and successful. And in the year of Battle Royale, a reminder may be needed now more than ever that one player can be just as important as 88 or 100. The future of open world and single player games now rests on the sequel to a Wild West hit from long ago. If it can pass the open world litmus test, it might just set a new precedent for its genre.